Hey y'all, it's Caitlin. And I got some more Wonder Woman stuff is as well. Wonder Woman stuff in as well as a purchase from a fellow YouTuber. But let's go ahead and do the Wonder Woman stuff first. So I got this uh, pop pin that they announced. All this, uh, I say all this, it's two items. Uh, was part of the uh, Funko Fair reveal earlier this year. And... I did not get the chase, as you can see. There is a chase variant of Wonder Woman where she's all gold and sparkly. So I am on the hunt for that one. I am going to be looking around, seeing it, if I can find it anywhere for a good price. I honestly don't know how steep the pop chases go for, because uh, there hasn't been any that I was interested in until now. But yeah, we are going to take this out of box, because I do have, I only have two others. I have the other Wonder Woman and I have the Robin. Uh, and both of them are displayed out of box because they're pretty. So, let's go ahead and get it out. If you guys haven't seen these pop pins before, they come in this little faux felt thing. It's just plastic that's flocked. <laughs> that's all it is. It's, they make it look very nice and whatnot, but yeah, it's, it's just a piece of plastic. And then these pins, super large, heavy duty. They have three uh, pins if you want wanted to use it as a pin but it also has a little kickstand so that you can uh, display it like a photo and there is the Freddy Funko crown there but yeah you can see this is the Walmart exclusive uh, pop that they use for the image here because she's holding the mo mother box so this is the Justice League one I think that yeah it had Justice League on the front of it personally I would have liked to use just one from the Wonder Woman movie but hey who cares I guess so there is Gal Gadot there and I do I actually need another mother box uh pop uh of the you know the actual pop of this one because the one I have the box was destroyed so it's out of box so yeah need to start looking for that but this is pretty cool so most of it other than her facial features her facial features and her parts of her hair are all like sketched in but the, her body is flat like there's all these little curves and stuff there aren't actual like ledges in there so that's pretty cool it gives a pretty nice effect so i really like this i really love the pins i really do do it's just not something i want to heavily collect unless it's something that i really really love uh the only reason i have the robin is because it came in a mystery box so <laughs> we have that and then the rest of it is actual uh pops Real quick though, if they're if you want to know, they do have Superman, Cyborg, and the Flash as well. But I don't know. I got these from Entertainment Earth. And I don't know if Entertainment Earth is starting to do the same thing as GameStop. Because I only ordered one and I checked. There was only one ordered. However, this pop actually comes with a pocket pop version as well. So I'm thinking instead of getting the pocket pop ver version, I just got the two pops. If somehow it screwed up. I don't know. But it's weird. But <laughs> So I'm putting this back here in this little pile that I've been getting of pops that I don't necessarily need. <laughs> so <laughs> And this stuff I got recently. There's four pops back here already. But yeah, so this is Wonder Woman Challenge of the Gods. This is an amazing, amazing storyline uh, for Wonder Woman. Freaking awesome. So they did put those two. I want to say, I don't have them near me right now for, to look, but I want to say when it came to the Golden Age and the Ultra Mod, they only had those two on the front. So I guess they're adding <laughs> to the box as they go along, maybe? It's kind of weird. But <laughs> Wonder Woman 80th year anniversary so let's go ahead and get this out so challenge of the gods was really really cool because it kind of concluded a story arc uh right before this story arc there was a well i guess it's still technically challenge of the gods it's just broken up into a few different stories but the story right before this one was actually cheetah's origin uh, but this one was really interesting because 
Diana is going back home to the mascara after being in man's world for quite some time. And she's summoned to Olympus. Why did I get the stand out? But she was summoned to Olympus. Um, because Zeus uh, has taken a liking to her. And he offers her what he believes is a generous reward for her, you know, deeds, uh, basically preaching about the gods in man's world, is uh, himself. <laughs> and Diana's still a virgin at this point, and she does not want to give her virginity to Zeus. Uh, Hippolyta comes to her aid to defend her because Zeus takes the rejection very, very badly. Um... <laughs> So that happens, and then Hera also comes to her defense, which is Zeus's wife. Um, but basically, as punishment for rejecting him, she is forced to going into uh, the cavern underneath her home of the Mascara or Paradise Island. And she dons this armor uh, to protect her, because this is some of the most powerful armor for uh, the Amazons, because that's where a lot of the, uh, creatures of myth are locked away, as well as, uh, Hercules. And Hercules, in this story arc, was the one who, um, imprisoned the Amazons in the first place before Diana was ever born. So, and his punishment is basically to hold up the mascara. So, her mother comes in after her, she meets... Hercules, who pretty much did the same thing that Zeus wanted to do to Diana, to her, all those years ago, and it brings back, you know, a lot of bad memories and a lot of things happen, and it ends very, very weirdly, <laughs> I will say, that story arc does, uh, something that would not be approved of today by any means, but the storyline in itself is pretty damn awesome, this is, of course, uh, George Perez, God, I almost forgot his name. Holy crap. George Perez storyline. George Perez, again, is one of the best writers that Wonder Woman has ever had. If not the best, I'm always going to be a little bit biased towards uh, Gail Simone. She will not stand without her stand, so let's just go ahead and pop that in. Uh, since I got it out for some reason, I usually don't get the stands out. But yeah, I'm always going to be biased towards Gail Simone, but George Perez was just, or still is, an amazing comic writer. And he did... Wonder Woman so much justice, and I forgot to turn on the light again. Shouldn't surprise anybody <laughs> at this point, but um, this is really, really cool. I'm very happy to have this one. Um, I want to say the next one that comes out is, what's it called again? <sighs> Seriously, what's it called again? Contest. The <laughs> Wonder Woman the Contest one, I believe, is the next one to come out. I'm not entirely sure, but if I had to guess, and I'm... I'm it's going to be a mini rant with that one, too. Not as bad as the Ultra Mod one, but just a small rant with that one as well when it comes out. But this one I absolutely approve of. And the other one, I don't know. I may try to glitter it because there's a lot of cool detail on this pop. So if I can manage to glitter all of it, it would look awesome. But it would take forever with all these little damn stars. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, I don't know what else to do with the other one, honestly. Now, this one, however, this is a purchase. It is not Wonder Woman related. But uh, let's see if you can guess who I got it from. <laughs> I want, I wish I could see the look on all the male people's face from Texas to Arkansas, which this passed through, and see their look on their face when they looked at this sticker. That's hilarious. But yeah, Lass has been selling a few of her pops. Oops sticker explosion uh and there was one there that i've kind of been wanting that i was debating about because when they first released i thought they looked stupid i didn't want them but then i'm like if there's one i'm gonna get it's gonna be this one and you know if i end up don't liking it within like a year or so it's something that can be very 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 easily customized so Let's get these up before I lose them. Okay. I will put a link to Lass's channel in the description box below, guys. 
case for some reason you all haven't checked her out yet. I think she's still on the road to 600, and I know uh, James Dieter has a giveaway going on for when she does hit re reach uh, 600 subs. So if you guys haven't checked her out, please go do so. And here is My Little Pony Cotton Candy. This is the scented GameStop exclusive one. So this is really cool. So they have done My Little Ponies in the past, but it's the Gen 4 ponies. This is supposed to be like Gen 1, so it's, you know, it's part of the Retro Toys line. Um, which I was never a big fan of the OG ponies um, at all. But, you know, when... I don't know what it was. And that, I've seen, like, documentaries and stuff on it. Even the people behind the show don't really know what it was, but My Little Pony Friendship is Magic just sort of spur sparked this whole cult following. Following Like, My Little Pony had a large fan base to begin with, but when that show started, everything blew up. It was so weird. There were grown men watching the show with their daughters or whatever, their kids, and being like, you know what, the show ain't too bad. <laughs> Suddenly there's bronies everywhere. <laughs> it was so weird. And the show was awesome. I love My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Um, so I do have a few of those pops. Um, but yeah, something about it just sparked this whole thing. But anyway, I really wanted this pop just to have one. And if I'm gonna get one, it's gonna be the scented one. So. That does not smell like cotton candy. That smells like vanilla lip gloss. <laughs> to me, that smells like a very weird... Like, it, it's not... It, it's not an unpleasant smell, but it's not a very pleasant one either. Yeah, it, you can definitely smell sweet, but it's like... Sweet that's gone stale or something. <laughs> I don't know, it's weird. I'm gonna stop smelling it. But... <laughs> But I wonder if you could take the head off and find the scent thingy in here. Because I imagine it's something similar to uh, Build-A-Bear. You know, they have those little scent uh, plastic thingies uh, in there where you can put in the bear and leave it. And it stays there for, like, years. The scent does stay there for years if you don't, like, play with the bear too much. Um, so I imagine that's something what's in here. So I imagine there's a way to remove it if I really wanted to. But whatever. So here is Cotton Candy. She's got this little bow on her tail and her... I don't even know if you guys can see her cutie mark. But her cutie mark... There's her weird Popeye. That's the thing. The Popeyes on these ones don't do well at all. But her cutie marks are just these little dots on both of her flanks. There you go. So kind of weird. But yeah, this is something... You know, the My Little Ponies, they all have different hair sculpts, do they? I know they do in Friendship is No, they don't. Okay, so these are all the exact same sculpts for each and every pony, but they're all color different. And it's very similar to, the, like, the Care Bears or even the Unicornos that I repaint a lot. Uh, usually when I repaint them, I try to get the older ones because they don't have a lot of sculpting to them. And they're all pretty much the exact same sculpt and therefore very very customizable because you can see the variance within just the ones that the company itself has done uh so yeah this is something that could be very easily worked with to create your own thing so she is going to go into the collection for now but if i ever do get tired of her i'll just customize it because this thing is honestly very cool again very customizable and it's something that i truly do like again not a huge fan of this style of pony, but this is where My Little Pony started, so it's pretty cool. I'm just not a fan of that scent at all. And of course, these have no problem at all uh, standing up. But yeah. Oh god, now it's on my hands. But, <laughs> but anyway, guys, these are the three things I got today. Uh, definitely this is my favorite, the Challenge of the Gods. I need to reread that story arc because, man, it was so good. It ended weirdly. <laughs> It kind of ends with, well, I'm not going to say it in case anyone wants to, but I'm again, it's, it's not something that would have flown in today's standards, um, but it's still a good story nonetheless, and I'm really glad that they made this one, because she very much is like super decked out in all this armor and stuff. And uh, again, guys, I will be leaving a link to uh, Last Catch'em in the description box 
below if you like Pokemon, if you like uh, Batman, if you just like her, <laughs> and we all do. I don't think, I've never heard anyone say a bad thing about Lass, <laughs> ever. Not once have I heard anyone say a bad thing about Lass. Um, so definitely go check her out. Probably not her swap video. <laughs> Probably don't watch her swap video for the very first video you ever watch of hers. Save that for an afternoon where you have nothing to do, like, or maybe you have like chores and you need something playing in the background. Then you put in her swap video. <laughs> we, she was in my group for the swap, and we were teasing her all day about that. <laughs> and she was teasing herself too. I love her. But anyway, guys. Please go check her out and show her some love. She definitely deserves it. And again, there is a giveaway going on. Uh, with James Dieter's channel for when she hits uh, 600 subs. So definitely go check that out as well. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this little haul video. Let me know what your favorite was. And thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, like always, it's a community, not a competition. I'll see y'all later. Bye.